Entering into flu season raises many questions. Flu season is said to be from October to May. Even with all the media attention and information out there, everyone deals with the flu season in a different way. For the past two to three years since I've been at school, I've gotten the shot every year and I had to get it for my internship because I was at the hospital this year. Getting a flu shot is one of the ways anyone who is six months or older can protect themselves from the flu. So benefits are either hopefully you will not um, get one of the dominant strains that are going around. Um, if for some reason there is a variant strain, you will be protected. Um, you may not be fully protected, you may still contract the virus, um, but it won't be nearly as severe as someone who is completely unvaccinated. Seaman says it's a good idea to get your shot early around either September or October. It takes about two weeks for the antibodies to build up in your system. Um, so when we see folks coming in in January and now even February, um, it's problematic because they may have already been exposed to the flu virus and because of that two week window, it may not do them any good. Even though there are many places to go to get a flu shot, some people still choose not to get one. I am an education major, so I work a lot in the school, so I knew there was a huge risk of getting sick and I've tried to go multiple times and we get the emails from the infirmary but they only offer the free flu shots during certain hours and with teaching at schools and going to my own classes at UF, I don't have time to fit in for the infirmary hour. Knowing what the flu symptoms are can help people decide if they need to visit a doctor. According to the Florida Department of Health, approximately 36,000 people die from the flu every year in the United States, while 114,000 are hospitalized. During this current flu season, UF Health Shands Hospital has reported 12 flu-related deaths in North Central Florida, as well as over 150 flu-related hospitalizations. Whether you get the flu shot or not, it is important to take the necessary precautions to remain healthy. With all of the information out there, it is up to each individual to make the best informed decision for themselves about how to tackle the flu season. Ashley Goodis, WUFT News.